Today we're making a very cool card using um, using paper and some some chipboard and we're gonna make these little sort of padded pillow shapes and all I did was cut out a sheet of chipboard one and a quarter inch square and cut out some use paper about one and a half or one and three quarters square and I'm making three of these out of the and you'll get plenty out of just one sheet of paper and we're gonna mount these under a card and I'll show you after after I show you this but what I did is I took some uh, sheets of uh, packing it's a packing foam and you can get it at office max or office supply stores and I stuck a couple of them together you could do three sheets but uh, the two work fine as well and I'm using a uh, a Xyron Mega Runner, which is very handy. And I'm going to put some uh, adhesive onto the back of my chipboard. I'm just going to lay that on top. And I'm just going to trim just a little bit. If there's a little extra foam, just trim around the edges to get it, get it away from the edges. And then I'm going to take the... Um, I've got this nice padded little pillow thing here. I'm just going to take the back of my paper and put a couple of strips of the adhesive on that. And I'm just going to lay my pillow with the foam side down, right, center it right on top. And just another run of the adhesive along the edges of the chipboard. And go slowly. And what is this is doing is it's giving me a little place to put, if you can see the sticky stuff, and it dries very fast, which is great. I'm going to make little corners and keep it away from the edge. Don't cut too close to that chipboard corner, otherwise you're going to see the edges of your chipboard. Now I'm just going to do roll one side and let it stick, and do the opposite side and let that stick. And just gently and do a little pinch on this on either side and then bring them around. So you can see these really nice corners. And the good part about this adhesive is it is dry, it's not wet or doesn't take it does no drying time, it dries instantly. And so now I've got this neat little padded sort of pillow, and then I'm going to put a little brad in the center. So I'm just gonna find my center and kind of eyeball it there. Hit it a couple times with a screw punch. And if it doesn't go all the way through, that's okay. Just do it another time. Use a, an awl if you need to. And put the bread right through. And take your bread prongs and open them up on the other side. Get them down nice and flat. And then the way that, to attach your little pillows, I've made three. And what I did was I made this, uh, It's a this is a mixed media card, a Strathmore mixed media card. And I have... Um, Right on the back is some some background paper I made using splash ink and with a jelly printing uh, plate, which is wonderful. And I just put some interference green on some black cardstock and I mounted that onto my card, so that looks really neat. But now what's going to look really nice is I'm going to mount my little pads or my little pillows on top of the card. So I'm just going to do that by taking the adhesive and put plenty of adhesive on the back. And you can overlap it, whatever you need to do. And I'll just center my first one right in the middle. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. And this is permanent adhesive, so once it's down, it's down. You don't have a lot of time to change your mind. And I'm just going to add some adhesive on the back of this. And just do this on both. About four times over that. And now I have a pretty simple but really elegant card. See, I have them centered all over, and there it is. Isn't that gorgeous?